Willie Nelson is being honored by the Library of Congress here at the DAR Constitution Hall with the Gershwin Prize for Popular Song. Before the ceremony, we spoke with Nelson and Roseanne Cash, a performer at the event. Mr. Nelson, how you doing? Just wanted to ask you um, if you had a chance to meet with the president while you were here in Washington, what would you talk to him about? Oh, you know, we talk about a lot of things. I've met him several times before, so he's a good friend. And I know you've, you've been active with marijuana legalization. Anybody in the presidential race you like so far? Uh, well, you know, it's, it's not over yet. I'm still watching the show. <laughs> but I'm a great, you know, Bernie and Hillary fan, you know. Okay, what do you like about them? Everything. Mr. Nelson, who inspires you when you start writing a song? Who's your inspiration? I'm going to have to have him go this way. I'm sorry. I uh, like a lot of different writers. Of course, Gershwin is absolutely a great writer. And uh, Hank Williams, you know, all those, all those good songs have a nice beginning, and I enjoyed learning them all. From we heard you like big band music, too. Huh? Big we heard band? You like big oh, band yeah, music? yeah, sure. Yeah, I like Glenn Miller. And, uh, you know, all those great bands. Well, it's funny you should ask, not this time, but I did testify in Congress um, earlier this year. Or was it last year? Was it already 2014? Yes. Uh, for the Congressional Subcommittee on Intellectual Property Rights and Copyright Law about uh, mus the issues facing musicians, you know, and fair compensation. So I'm still involved with that and plan to be back. You think that's going to change, that vocalists will be compensated for royalties? Well, you know, an act was just introduced in Congress called Fair Play, Fair Pay, and that is the precise reason it was introduced, so that singers will get royalties just like songwriters, and that this uh, pre-72 glitch in the law will disappear so that people like Percy Sledge would have gotten royalties for When a Man Loves a Woman. Aretha Franklin will get royalties for respect. You know, it's shameful that they don't. Roseanne, what are you working on next in your career? I'm writing the uh, lyrics for a musical. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's a challenge. Any other tips on what's coming? Um, well, I'm still working on The River and the Thread, my record that it's done really well and I'm still out there doing shows and, you know, I have a residency at Carnegie Hall this year, so put together four shows for them. It's been fun. Are you, are you following the election? Any candidates that you like in the race right now? I'd love to see a woman become president before I die. So that, would that woman be Hillary or Carly Fearing? <laughs> She's out there. I mean, I do like Bernie as well. It's tough, you know. I'm an old school liberal. Okay. All right. Any issues you're most concerned about? Um, gun violence among children, fair compensation for artists. In Washington, I'm Nicholas Balsey.